What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and tonight I'm going to make vegetable fried rice in my Power Pressure Cooker XL. Okay, these are my ingredients. Of course, I love to cook with Uncle Ben's rice. Got my chicken tenderloins. I don't think I'm going to um, use all of this, but most of it. My light soy sauce, um, which is going to color and flavor the rice or flavor everything in the um, power pressure cooker basically. It's the vegetables that I'm going to use but you can use whatever you want. Onion powder, black pepper, salt and finally some minced garlic um, garlic powder and cayenne pepper. Okay first I'm gonna wash and um, Wash my chicken and then put it on my cutting board to season and cut up. All right, these are five tenderloins. Um, so there were 10 in there, so I'm just using half of the pack. I'm gonna put the rest of the tenderloins in my food saver and um, store them in my freezer. All right, now I'm just going to in real quick just for flavoring now what's best um, if you can is make these marinate like for at least three hours or at least 30 minutes to three hours to even overnight but I'm not gonna do that because I'm impatient I just thought to make some Chinese food about a half an hour ago and it's already nine o'clock at night <laughs> so obviously I don't have time for all of that just gonna put salt on one side because the um, the light soy sauce should should um, should do the trick with the rest of what we need as far as salt, onion powder, garlic powder. black pepper and also just for this side I'm going to add some cayenne pepper just for one side just to add a little little kick to it yep and so of course we're going to do the other side minus the salt and cayenne pepper all right, that's done. Now we're going to cut it up. All right, that's it chopped up. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to put the uh, chicken in this bowl real quick. And then, I didn't tell you before, but I just decided to do it. I'm going to sprinkle some of this on my meat and mix it up. you don't have to do that you can just put some oil into the um, pressure cooker and that would be the same difference but I'm just putting some oriental oil on there seasoning or whatever oriental seasoning sorry seasoning oil on there tastes pretty good give it that feel yeah Okay. okay, I'm doing about one cup of rice. Okay, so let's go ahead and dump our uncooked meat in first. Now, if you didn't put the, uh, you know, the, the sesame oil in there, then you would want to add some oil right now to the pressure cooker because the meat has to cook on the bottom since it's uncooked. Go ahead and add your rice. And we're going to put the same amount of um, water as rice. Put a tablespoon of minced garlic in there. Add in my light soy sauce. And we're going to mix it around before I add the vegetables to it. 
that should be enough and guys we can always add salt pepper whatever when it's done as well even um, soy sauce as well so if it doesn't come out as like we want it to taste or whatever have you we can always add some after All right, that looks pretty good Go ahead and add my vegetables in. I want those to be on top because you know the power pressure cooker just pulverizes stuff and uh yeah. So that should be cool like that. Okay guys, we're gonna do this for ten minutes. Only because we'd have uncooked meat, uncooked chicken in there. If you had like already done meat, like rotisserie chicken that you bought from the store, or whatever, then you can do this for eight minutes. All right, guys, let's check it out. Let's see how it turned out here. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cool. Cool, so now's the time where you taste it. See if it's salty enough for you, if it's hot enough for you, like pepper-wise. Um, go ahead and add your final touches to it now. I'm going to add a little more soy sauce to mine. And mix that up and see how it tastes then. Perfect, it's to my liking now. And um, I'm going to plate it up and show you what it looks like on my plate. Alright guys, there it is. Take a piece. I never took a piece of my chicken. Let's see how that is. Let's take a bite. Mmm. That's good. Oh yeah. It's definitely good guys. Definitely try it out. You guys take a bite. And next time I make this I'm gonna make it some, make it some wings and I'm gonna make some egg rolls. Just exactly how I get it with um you know when I buy it at the um Chinese food store. I mean restaurant. But anyway, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Same thing. Thanks for just even looking at my video. Really appreciate it. Just cooking with Doug.